Hello, this is Cardi Cartoons, and I haven't done a sketchbook tour video in a while, or any drawing video in a while, and I, since I've been drawing every single day, I'm almost finished with this sketchbook right here. Since I'm mostly, since I'm mostly like, only have like six pages left, I might as well just show you all the drawings that I made so far on here, and probably tomorrow or next week, I'm probably going to show, I'm probably going to show all the sketches probably in this new sketchbook that I have that I recorded with all with all the drawings and stuff. But for right now I'm gonna do it with this sketchbook. Here are some cartoon Bosasaur drawings that I did. The more cartoonish than realistic then. These are my favorite dinosaurs. Ew. Dinosaurs kinda only lived on land. At least that's what scientists say, which is kind of confusing. You probably don't know. But they live in the time, but I guess they're reptiles, but they live in a tumble of dinosaurs. So, yeah. And here is a, a drawing sketches of almost every character I made so far before I made the sketchbook. All my other drawings, like you see here, and my drawing, my sketchbooks and stuff. Here on your top left here is top left here is Drake the Dragon, Mac the Dragon, and Meaty the Dragon from my Flatness Dragon sketch uh, comic book that I made in another sketchbook. Here is the alien species which keeps showing up in every of my comics. <laughs> I just love drawing them. Here is Joshua on the bottom on right here by uh, on the this is Joshua right here. Here is CR4, R2, Megan, who calls who calls these two characters Chris and Rick. <laughs> okay, Maury. <laughs> and this is Jack the Jackalope and your Mandy. And these characters from Warrior Wolf. Luna the Vampire Bat. Kenju the Wolf. Here is a drone, a drone character, a drone, drone character, yeah, drones. Here is Pat the Pummeler and his wife Sarah. Here is Andrew, Astro, and Pluto. Here is, you see, you see in the middle here, you can see Figgy right here, Figgy the Squirrel, and H2O that I made a comic a long time ago. Which I don't remember which comic though, so I just draw the character. Here are some other characters. Oh, I'm just getting kind of tired. Here are some other characters, like Mr. Tom and um, Jack, Jack Dracula or Jack for short. Here's Jim, and here's some other characters that appeared in my comics, except for this character right here, this shark character. I just wanted to draw like a land shark character, so I just drew him in here and glue him in here. Here is Luna the Vampire Bat. I just drawing her different poses and stuff. Here is a, a landscape drawing. I usually don't draw landscapes, but when I do, this is what I usually turn out to be. The landscape well, mountains and stuff. Here is a pterodactyl. And here is a shark, cartoon shark. Here is a, a another landscape drawing of an island, well, a volcano island, with a like an airplane right here, a seaplane. They call them seaplanes. In a jet ski, a person driving a jet ski, in the water and stuff. And here, as you see here, you see Figgy the squirrel. Farting with Henry the Beaver. <laughs> Here is a wolf howling because I love wolves. I love drawing wolves and stuff. As you can see, like Kenju the wolf, the basic character of wolves and stuff. And here is Scrappy Discovery 4. Well, in the, in the book, it's Super Sci Fi 4. But if I ever decide to put it online, I just call it Scrappy Discovery. This is the better name in Super Sci Fi.
Oh, here's a new character called Bell, who was inspired by Samus from Metroid. I think I, yeah, I introduced her. As you can see here, Joshua's falling in love with Belle. <laughs> Here's a new character, the Alien Queen, who can talk. Unlike gorilla species, because she's more intelligent. Since she's more intelligent than most of the of her kind, she's considered like the alien queen, like the ruler. So she's more intelligent than the rest of them, and can talk and stuff. Here is a drawing of Saturn. Here is a, a mongoose or weasel character. Oh, as you can see here, Figgy and Henry fell in love and pretty much became a couple and stuff. <laughs> And here is a sketch of a 1967 Chevy Camaro. They don't make Camaros like they used to. At least they look like this. Here is a, a turtle kaiju character. As you see, there's going to be more turtle kaiju characters because I usually love turtles and I love, ka uh, I love kaijus. And here is the alien queen with well, the species, the alien species as a whole. I haven't got on the name. I haven't come around to naming the species yet, but since they're the only aliens in my comics, I just call them aliens. So maybe as the series goes on, as the comic book series goes on, I'll probably give them a name. Here's Pat the Pumbler, the wrestler. Yeah, and here is my <sighs> here's my landscape drawings going wrong. This was supposed to be a. Uh, a landscape drawing of a beach, like a house, a beach house right here and palm trees, but it didn't turn out right. So yeah, it kind of looks kind of ugly. At least what I think it is. Here's Soy 4, or Chris for short. Here's a robot character that I just love drawing. That I just randomly draw sometimes. I, I drew this character a lot. I also animated this character. You can check out the animation on my um on the YouTube channel. Here's a Pony at GTO of the, over the years, their car designs. The thing I like, um, as you, uh, if you didn't know, Ponyac, the car company, went out of business in 2010. And they were like, these are the coolest cars ever. Especially the especially their muscle cars, you know, because they're like kind of the cars that the cool kids drive. <laughs> and here's a dinosaur. Uh, I don't know the name of this dinosaur in particular, or at least I forgot the name of this dinosaur. But it has a really long name. And I don't feel like I'm trying to figure out the name of the dinosaur right here. So here's a kaiju character that you see later in my comics, my um, other comics and stuff. And here is a landscape drawing of an island of two islands, a volcano island and an island that has a village in it. And the sun in the top left corner. It's warm every year. Or at least warm all year long in the Virgin Islands and stuff. Here is Belle again, my new character, Belle. And here is CR4. They're fighting alongside each other. And here's a turtle kaiju character. Another troll kaiju character, as you can see, and this is him again, and Colton and his kaiju, a new comic that I made. And you see here, this is an African wild dog, which is kind of strange because you usually don't see, um, you usually don't see these type of animals in Africa. You usually, when people think of Africa, they think of the big cats like leopards, lions, and um, cheetahs. But apparently there's a, a wild dog species in Africa called the African wild dog, or the painted hound. Or painted wolf, and I kind of went crazy with the coloring here. <laughs> and this is Colton and his kaiju comic. You can see him, you see here him falling in love with a with a dragon character. And here's a new character, Colton, who practices Brazilian martial arts, the capoeira, para, I think capoeira art st fighting style. Let me know in the comments, you know what type of fine style that you, that you know. 
the you know with this you know type of fighting style and stuff. It's from Brazil. It's all, it's all I know, and it's like inspired by African slaves and stuff, which is kind of unique. So here is a uh, drawings of characters. Bell again. And it's, this is me trying to draw like a different hairstyle for the characters. Trying to figure out a different hairstyle. And this is me trying to draw realistically. And kind of, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but I did kind of like how it turned out. Even though I think it's ugly. Here is the new character, Jetman. As I change the design later, later on. Here is Colton again. Here is Pat Pomeler again. And his wife, Sarah. And it's Joshua from Scrappy Discovery. Here's an old lady character who is obviously not old because her hair is her, her head's too round. <laughs> yeah. And here's a Eagle Wing, my new character. And here is Jetman, as you saw earlier, Jetman and his family. I ended up changing the Jetman design. I'll explain this later, but I ended up changing the design for a good reason. This design right here. I changed it for a good reason. And here is animals from the Ice Age, at least like 10,000 years ago. They're North America and stuff. Like the saber toothed cat, the mammoths, and giant ground sloth that is also native to South America. And here is a landscape drawing. You can see Bell again. And uh, um, it, it made it look good in the video itself. But if you actually look at it in person, it looks kind of, this kind of all over. The colors are kind of all over the place. You can actually see this in person, but as you see here in the video here, it looks kind of good. At least what I think. Here is my superhero characters that I drew: Captain Perfect, Eagle Wing again, and Jetman. I tried to change Jetman design. And here is the robot characters, R2, and some other robot characters. Robots. Here's Pot the Pummeler and Sarah again. I usually, when I draw a character or any character, I usually draw them more than once. I usually like, that's usually how I'll draw them. I'll have to draw them more than once stuff. Here's Figgy the Squirrel and Henry the Beaver. Or Henry the Beaver giving Figgy a piggyback ride. And here's another dinosaur. I don't know why these scientists come with these. Long games for dinosaurs. <sighs> and here is Safari Kingdom. I'm not sure if I should make a comic of this, but I was planning on making this like a, into a video game, like an RPG video game. Like, for example, the lion based on African animals and stuff. Like you see here, the antelope, the lion, the cheetah, the elephant, the crocodile, the porcupine, and the warthog. Uh, like, for example, the lion probably might have the most attack, well, highest attack power, the cheetah will probably have the highest speed, and the, and the porcupine and the elephant probably have the highest defense. If I ever decide to make the RPG, like get a new computer and stuff. And here is a, the drawing I'm very proud of. This is like a realistic sketch of a Mosasaur. It's very stylized and stuff. I really like how this turned out. And this is a mech. Mech of another, a different mech this time. Because Josh was an inventor. And he makes up, makes robots and stuff. Here is a realistic drawing of a wolf. And here is me trying to change Jetman's design. Here's this old Jetman design. And the reason, the reason why I wanted to change Jetman's design. Because my therapist said that. The, the this this old Jetman design kind of reminder of a like a clan member, and I don't want I don't want my characters associated with the clan. And that was the racist group here in America that try to target black people. Yeah, so I try to change the design, and the design I went with was this one, Jetman design two, and you know a little cute turtle character right here. Here's a piranha with legs. <laughs> this is a very funny comic called New World Rush, based on animals in um, South America. You see here they have legs and stuff. 
piranha with legs and the catfish with legs. <laughs> kind of remind me of Darwin from Amazing World Gumball. Very funny show. New World Rush and stuff. New Jaguar character. This tapir character. I see the piranha trying to hunt the tapir, but the tapir is too big for him. <laughs> Here's a crab character. Here's a wyvern. I think it's a, a wyvern or a wyvern. I think that's what it's called. Dragons with wings and stuff. I like drawing dragons too. Here's a, a dog. This is Jimmy John the dog. Because I love dogs. They're kind of easier to deal with than cats are. You don't have to worry about them climbing all over everything. Beyond all the time. And here is a... I'm more, I'm more for a dog person, that Bobby will say. And here's a picture of a, a lady that I tried to do a different art style in. And here's a picture of a superhero bear character. And here's a praying mantis. Because usually when people think of insects, they usually think of roaches, flies, and mosquitoes. You know, those kind of disgusting kind of insects that keep bothering people. But uh, Praying Mantis is very cool. I mean, there's a video, I think it's on YouTube, about Praying Mantis eating a grasshopper. And it's the most fascinating video I've seen so far. This is the Praying Mantis case. And here is Jetman, the design I went with. Here's some robot characters that I didn't name yet. Here's um, Windy the Dragon. And this is a moth character, or Mothra, from the Godzilla series. It's kind of strange that they have moths for kaijus in that type of series. <laughs> and here is my last comic that I made in this book, Jetman. His name is, his character's name is Jacob. And this is Jetman before he turned transforming stuff. Here is General John. I'm a scientist character. I see John, Jacob got into an accident and you transform him into this Jetman to recover from his injuries or something. There's Terra Tiffany, just robbing the bank and stuff, a villain of the series. Here is Jacob's wife, who is shocked to see him transforming stuff. And here is his son right here, Jacob Jr., who thinks he's the coolest transformation you've seen in his life. <laughs> um, here is a uh, Chevy Cobalt. I mean, these cars were very prevalent in the uh, in the early two thousands, or at least the mid two thousands. You know, the, my childhood and stuff. Um, I grew up mostly in the 2000s, even though I was born in the 90s. And this car was like everywhere. Almost everyone had this car. And it's kind of a shame that this car is only like prominently featured in only one game. It's near to most wanted. Very fun game, by the way. They didn't make it HD remake of. They didn't make it. They, 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 uh, what am I saying? They, they should make a HD re-release re, re of Meets Be Underground. That's what I meant to say. And here is Jetman playing basketball with his son, Junior, or Jacob. Here is the Mythical Squad. Jack the Jackal in the middle. These two, these two new characters, the Monotar and the uh, Reindeer Wings. And I'm going to draw on what else in this sketchbook. And well, if I ever come to, if I ever come around to draw in, in these new pages right here that I didn't draw in, I probably would just go post them on Instagram. Thank you for all my Instagram and stuff. And that's it.